Bergen-Bergen, and I'm a signature member in the east of the NEWA, the Northeast International Watercolor and the Central New York uh, signature member. And that's what I do all summer, paint with them. I was in office. I had never painted before. I always wanted to. I love to go to art galleries and look at paintings, but I, I was a surgeon. I didn't have a lot of time to paint. Uh, so I was going to do it when I retired. But you did it before you retired. I started just before I retired. Matter of fact, I was in a surgical rotation in Tacoma and I had some extra time. And so I signed my wife and I up for a, for a uh, painting workshop. And I got called and my wife was there and she says, I'm not even painting, I don't even like painting. Here I am in a class and I don't want to be in. So I didn't make any friends that day. But Gordy, you stopped a moment and you looked. Can you tell us what you were thinking as you stopped and looked? Well, I was, I was mainly looking to see if it was ready to put the ink on, because the ink will run and blur, which is good, but you want to be able to control it. So yeah. it's got to be relatively dry, and this is getting there. And if it runs, that's okay. It makes it, it gives it a, a watercolor, a painterly effect. I didn't put any color in the flag. I'll draw the flag and then maybe put some stripes on later on. Why do you do it with a quill? Because you get fat lines and skinny lines and it looks more random. I visited some friends on a farm they had and the fox got a, got a uh, turkey and I got the feathers. <laughs> so when did you start painting with the weekday painters? This group? Yeah. The fun is yeah, I'm trying to think. It would have been when I first started coming here. Mm -hmm. I, I came and we were still down at the uh, down on Ketna, so yeah. that was, yeah. I'll tell you what, this is an interesting story. I was a new painter. I hadn't been painting more than five years, and not long here, and I painted here. And I did a painting that I loved, and I entered it, and it got first prize in the monthly show, uh -huh. first time I ever got in. And the judges were Stephanie and uh, the husband and wife team from, oh, yeah. you know um, what I mean? Ken Goldman. Goldman, yeah, Ken yeah. Goldman. I was so pleased. Allison Kistler, you don't remember her, but Allison uh, called me, Gordy, your picture got in the show, terrific. It's got first prize, it's hanging right into you as you walk in the door. <laughs> Amazing. I might start with a sketch. I don't do a value study, but I do a, a spatial sketch, so I, so I know it'll fit. You know I like to put cars down here and people yeah. down here and I start painting without a sketch. I get down here and there's no room for what I want to put down here. So I do a sketch so I know it's going to fit on the paper. That's all I do. And I don't do value studies. I, I make the values up as I go. I just mix colors on it and I try and make it as colorful as possible. So have you pretty much always painted this way? Mm, no. I think, uh, I think I've gotten... I really want to go, go into abstraction, but I'm just not there yet. I try and I just can't do that. So I, I make these pictures more and more wild and looser. But I hope I've gotten looser. So this last year, where have you been painting? Are this last, last year I painted years? exclusively in the Adirondacks. The Adirondacks are the, the mountain range in central New York, north of Syracuse and north of uh, the Mohawk Valley. and. Uh, we have a group of about 20 or 30 people who come from miles around. They come from Fayetteville and Syracuse, from Utica, from Clinton, where Hamilton College is, and, uh, and Pete. And, and that's where you worked also, right? Did you grow up there? I grew up in Utica, and then I went away to medical school, and then I left Utica and practiced, did my training in Seattle, practiced in Seattle, got drafted from Seattle during the Vietnam War, and when I got out, Seattle was kind of in a depression, Boeing was not doing well, and so I looked around for a job and a, a medical clinic in Utica was looking for a surgeon. I went and interviewed, and it was a fall day, leaves had changed, sun was shining, it was gorgeous. And I remember what a nice life I had growing up, and I thought my kids would, I'd like to have my kids have that. So we moved, and it turned out great. I, I liked Utica. My wife hated it, 
she was from there too, but she didn't want to go back. But she did, and and uh, she was a good sport and raised the kids. The kids did well in school. They all went to good colleges. Now they're all very successful. So it was a good choice. Yeah. Uh, then one of my oldest daughters moved here, and so we came out for a couple of weeks for vacations, and I met the people at the San Diego Watercolor, and we come out for another two weeks the next year, go back to snow, come out for another two weeks, go back to snow. <laughs> so finally, I retired and bought a house out here in Rancho Bernardo, and we moved out here and joined San Diego Watercolor then, and started doing plein air painting right then. So I think it was around the early 90s that I started painting out here. But I had painted a lot in the east with the Munson Williams group. Okay, let's let it dry and then start putting some black on and see what happens. While it dries, Gordy, do you have advice for beginning painters? I think mean, take lessons. Number one, you gotta you can't learn on your own. You gotta really have somebody help you get started. And you not don't necessarily want to paint like them, but just see how they put the paint on the paint on and remember some of those things. Go to art galleries and look. And the most exciting thing about an art gallery is looking and say, how did they do that? And you look at these, uh, especially watercolors. Uh, well, I think I get because, uh, you know, you can go over it and you're painting what you see. But watercolors, it's also accidental. And so how did they do that? So then I go and I try and make sky the way Turner makes a sky, whatever, whatever. But I love art galleries. I, I just go and think I'm addicted to them. What else? Paint with other people. And uh, while you're painting, looking, you're painting the same thing, paint the same thing, but try and do it a little bit differently, but at least get an idea. It, it's, when you're, especially the outdoor painters, you get out here and there's so much to see, all these buildings and birds and sky and palm trees and where do I start? Well, you can't do it all, so paint, paint what you're gonna paint. So my main item here is gonna be this building eventually. So Bertie, how old are you? Pardon? How old are you? I'm 88 years old. Man, hard to believe? Hard to believe, yeah. <laughs> It is to me too. And I started painting when I was 50, so I've been painting for 30 years. That's a career. That's, that's a career. Yeah. So don't retire early for this one. <laughs>